Hey, we're The Bridge, and you're watching Change Up TV. Hey, guys, this is Scott from ChangeUpMag.com, and we are bringing you Baltimore's homegrown band, and now internationally known, The Bridge. Baltimore represents, son. <laughs> bringing that Be More flavor. Yeah. It's just kind of like our own, our own mixture of... of uh, of things we don't really like try to pinpoint a genre when we write music or anything you know Kenny and I write write songs that are I guess coming from a very uh, rootsy traditional place but we kind of mix in a lot of different genres along with it like you know funk and jazz and and so it's kind of like this bluegrass roots folk mixed with rock funk jazz and blues and then when we when we play live we improvise and stretch out tunes you know so that's that's you know my best attempt at a, at a description no i think that did pretty good whatever's coming to you guys whatever your favorite band is we sound exactly like that so how do you feel about coming up from grassroots in baltimore and now expanding to a nationally and internationally touring band yeah, as fun as it is, it's still it's still a lot of hard work, and you know we're we're still trying to pay the bills. So you know we just kind of keep things in perspective and realize that that we're very lucky to, to be playing music for a living. And yeah, that's kind of I think as far as as we get with it, which is which is good. We're all pretty pretty humble about it. And there's no there's no visions of, of us having you know made it to the top right now at this point. You know what I mean? So we're just kind of enjoying every every experience as it comes. You, know? you guys are touring nationally. How do you maintain a budget, or or do you, can you maintain a budget while touring across the country? Denny's, IHOP, Bob Evans, Super 8, Super 8 air, air mattresses, Natural Light. Natural Light. Now, uh, I know you guys are about to play Jam in the Dam pretty soon, and so that's a huge international festival in Amsterdam. And uh, how does that how does that contrast or can can that relate to playing a big festival internationally to coming locally to, to Baltimore County, Pikesville specifically, and, and playing a free show at Quarry Lake? You know, we we already been to Europe once, so the fact that we're going back is is great, and uh, just expanding to a new audience. This is more like a homecoming for us. You know, all of our families are here, all of our friends of our families, all of our friends' families, everyone we know and their and their grandmas here. But you guys, you guys are rock stars here. Come on now, you gotta give me something sexy. You know, we're very lucky to, to number one have a lot of good friends who, who really helped to encourage us at the beginning keep going and a lot of people that were showing us a lot of support and continue you know some of the people that come to see us now have been coming since like the way beginning so that's you know that's a really special thing we have a really special connection to a lot of people in this city and, it, and it's it's a, it's a band audience relationship that I think a lot of bands uh, strive to have just like the rhythm of the devil's drum beating steady with a crack in can hear that train coming through the dark of night. We were at the bridge's first gig seven and a half years ago together. Yep. And right away we were like, this is a special band. And for seven and a half years we've been able to watch them evolve and just become not only a special band but an amazing band that we just want to get the word out around the country how amazing they are. ChangeUpMag.com. Don't forget it. Go there. Hot chicks. <laughs> All the time. <laughs>